one of the things that you're going to have to do for your exam is look at a snippet of code and determine what the output is going to be. Most of the code uh, sends its output through console.log to the terminal, to the console. And so one of the ways that we can practice and test code out is by using what's called Node, which is a quick way to run some JavaScript code and send it to the, the console. That's actually not the main use of Node, but for us, uh, it's a way for us to run our code through the console. So you'll notice I have my HTML container here. You can see when I click on it, I can open up my folders. I've actually made a folder called Node where I've put some JavaScript code uh, files in here. And one of them I've called test.js. So you can quickly, if I open that up, you can see that test.js simply declares this array called colors. And it runs an if block to make a decision about those colors. And if one thing's true, it'll console.log black color. And if it's uh, otherwise else, it will console.log no black color. And our job when we take the exam is to decide what the output will be based on four multiple choice options. So one way we can practice to test this code is using uh, a uh, command line uh, environment for JavaScript called Node. So what we do is we go over to our container here, the HTML container, and if you right-click on it, the very top choice in code anywhere is SSH terminal. And when you click that, you're basically taken to uh, a web version of a Unix terminal, right? Or this, in this case, it's Ubuntu Linux. But you're at the command line here, and you can type in commands and manipulate the file system. So for example, my file is stored in folder node over here. So if I want to change to that folder, I type CD, that stands for change directory, and then I type node. That's just the name of the folder that I made. If you wanted to change to your HTML folder, you do CD HTML. So I want to CD to node and I hit enter. And you'll notice my path now is my original container workspace and then the subfolder called node. I'm in node and if you want to make sure you're in that particular folder, if you just list the contents, if you type ls, and then I usually do dash l to see it as a list, ls space dash l, it'll show you all the files in the folder. Here they are listed from the terminal and you can see them over here in the tree diagram as well. Now, to run the test file and see what the output will be, you simply type node, which is the interpreter that we'll use, a space, and then the name of the file. So for us, that is test, T-E-S-T, -E obviously, dot J-S. As soon as you hit enter, the program will run and the output will show up. It's either going to say black color or no black color, because that's the code we wrote. So I hit enter, and in this case, the output is simply black color. So that tells me that when this code is run, it's going to end up saying black color. Now let's talk about why that's true. The index of method of any array will basically go and find the position of the string black in this array. Remember, arrays start counting at zero. So black, if we counted, red would be zero, black would be one. So the index of black is actually one. And it says... If the index of black is not equal to negative 1, then we're going to output black color. And since ours is 1, it's not equal to black, uh, excuse me, it's not equal to negative 1. And so sure enough, black color prints out. And again, let me just show you that the way we made that execute is we typed node, then a space, and then test. Node is one of the interpreters that's built into the implementation uh, of the terminal here through code anywhere. And so that's a quick way to test JavaScript code without having to write an HTML container to display it in a web page. And so when you're working on this uh, these practice exam questions, you can quickly type up a file, paste the code in or type it in, and then run it using Node to see what the output would be. It's, it's a chance for you to find out if you were right or not. Obviously, we want you to be able to look at the code and decide what it will be, but it's a good idea to test it and make sure you were right. Because when you take the exam, you'll have four choices there, right? You'll have to pick the right one. Right now, you just have the practice code to work with. So that's a quick way to test it. Please try it out with your code anywhere. 
and let me know if you have any issues. Good luck.